Um, so I'll take it on. This is, this, 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 this. Well, I feel immediately bad that I haven't been before because my studio is literally 10 minutes walk away um, on Westminster Bridge Road. So I walk up this way all the time and I've known about it and haven't made my way up. And it's just the most incredible place because it's got um, a tremendous uh, energy and freedom when you get up here. It's totally not what you expect on top of a roof in the very, very centre of London. And there's 270 native wild species up here and an incredible team of gardeners led by Paul, who's yeah, 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 yeah. very charismatic leader and full of energy and uh, life. And um, it's just a real testament, I think, to what you can do if there's some passion behind a project. And they've done it with very little resources. Um, it's only five years old, it feels like it's been here forever. Um, it's absolutely uh, infectious, wonderful atmosphere. And thinking about the Garden Bridge, how are designs coming together in terms of what you're working on at the moment? We are now, we've, we've gone out to procurement for the um, landscapers, so we're now uh, working with Willoughby's who were responsible for the landscaping at the Olympic Park. So we're in very good hands. And they in turn have put us in touch with uh, the tree uh, nursery called Deepdale. And we are just about to set off on a series of trips to look at nurseries with Deepdale to select the trees. Because the whole idea is that we have the trees growing in a nursery um, for at least two years before they go onto the bridge so that they've got time to acclimatise in one place rather than coming from all over the place. Um, and we are feeling very, very excited about that. We've got another nursery called Palmstead who are growing the, uh, the smaller woody perennial, the smaller, smaller woody uh, shrubs and all the perennials. Um, so we've got trips organised there as well. And they'll be growing things a little bit later, although we started talking to them about the plant lists because those things take less time to get to a point where you can put them onto the bridge. So we really are feeling like uh, the green matter that we've been designing um, just on paper is beginning to come together now. And you talk about trips to look at plants. I understand that there may be a trip to Germany coming up in the autumn as well. Could you tell me anything about that or is it too, uh, too much in advance yet? We've got um, Deepdale are our, our main tree nursery here and they go out to Europe to source material that they wouldn't be able to uh, grow here in the timescales that we've got. And one of the things that we're looking at is uh, multi-stemmed trees, trees that have more than one stem, so that they'll flex and bend in the wind better. They have a, a better centre of gravity than a tree that has one stem. And um, the best trees that you can find that are multi-stemmed tend to be grown in Europe. So we're going out to look at the trees which have been selected for the bridge um, on a series of trips to different nurseries and handpick things for um, particular positions which will then be brought back to Deepdale and kept at Deepdale for two years to acclimatise. Great, thank you very much.